Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. It's nice to have you back and I hope you're doing really great. In today's video, I'm gonna share super useful Canva tips and tricks. Wait, Canva? Yeah, what's that? Canva is a super incredible, powerful, amazingly easy software to design. This is a very user-friendly design software. You don't even have to have a pre-experience in designing field. You don't even need to know any basics in designing. With Canva, you can design really cool looking Instagram posts, stories, YouTube thumbnails, prints, articles, books, PowerPoint presentations, and so on and so on. So yeah, as we said, in Canva, you don't have to have any pre-experience. It's just basically drag and drop system. So anyone can drag and drop and align the things where you would like to be. It's just that simple. To be really honest, I have ditched using my Photoshop for the last two to three months now because I don't use Photoshop anymore. I basically use Photoshop to design my YouTube thumbnails. So I don't do that thumbnails in Photoshop anymore. Don't get me wrong. I was a Photoshop addict and I used to nitpick about any other software that was in Photoshop. Like how can you get this thing with a little bit more control this was my issue so now i have stick to canva and it's been incredible i don't know if it's just me i'm just getting distance from almost all the adobe softwares the only software that i hardly use is the adobe acrobat pdf reader <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm serious. And that's one of Windows. In Mac, we have the Mac Reader or whatever you call it. So that's the only software I use. And previously I used to edit all my videos in Premiere Pro because that's the only software that I was literate in editing the videos. All other softwares I was incapable of. Premiere Pro is such a vast and amazing software to edit videos and you can even adjust the tiniest and simplest things you can even imagine of. It's that powerful and great. But Premiere Pro is a nightmare when it comes to using memory. It just uses memory like a hell lot like rendering and post-processing and exporting was like hilarious task wait why are we talking about adobe software now let's come back to canva this video is not sponsored by canva however let's talk about the package from the canva basically canva offers three package one is the free one another one is the pro one the third one is for the enterprises so let's stick to canva pro now so the canva pro comes in two packages one is on a monthly subscription and the one is an yearly subscription Thankfully, by the time I'm creating video, we have a discount available, which is $35 if you subscribe on an annual basis. But if you subscribe on a monthly basis, it's $13. Hang on, however, it's not completely pay. We have a good scope to play around with it. Apart from that, you have 14 days trail period. So if you're smart enough or you've been with me for a while now, you know how to handle these situations very proactively. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Now let me take you through the Canva website for a second and I will show you what are the templates available. You have a plenty of templates available. Now you can see it's streamlined for Instagram posts and you can see logos, cards, posters. If you're not convinced with any of these templates, you still have option to create your own personal customized templates. You can start with the blank documents. I'm pretty sure you will find some cool looking templates to kick off with. So here in this video, I'm gonna share 15 tips and tricks I wish I knew when I get started with Canva. So without any longer, let's dive into the video my name is Mahmoud Raif if you're new here welcome be sure to subscribe and hit the bell Tip number one, selecting difficult layers. When you're working with multiple layers, you often come up with this situation of selecting the layer beneath the top one. When the space between them are very narrow, it's really difficult to select the one beneath it. So let me show you how to select the layer beneath the top layer. If I simply click on the first layer, you can see right now, it's the first layer is being selected. If I try to select the behind one, I can't even click on the one. So in order to do that, simply press command and then give a click. This is gonna take you to the second layer. And if you do that again, it's gonna take to the third layer and so on it continues now since you have selected now you can do whatever you want you can even change the color and do any modifications that you like to do tip number two designing a beautiful ebook cover or product mock-up so let us say you have finished finalizing the edit for your ebook cover and now that you want to export the mock-up cover Thankfully, Canva integrates with Smart Mockups. Smart Mockups is an online website that helps you to give exact physical feel of a book or something like that. So just simply go to the menu once you have finished completing the edit. Just go to the menu and scroll down a bit and you will find Smart Mockup. Just click on that and then the front page will be available on the Smart Mockup website. Tip number three is adding shadow effects on your text. So let's see how to do that. Select the text that you would like to add shadow onto and then go to effects. Simply select the shadow and you have a shadow. So here you can select 
the direction of shadow and color of the shadow and things like that. So you can modify it from here. So this is how you add shadow to your text. Tip number four is moving elements. I know this is very fundamental, but let me give you a life-saving technique here. So you need to move an item. Simply select the text you would like to move and then use your arrows to move up and down. Using your arrow will move by one pixel at a time. So if you want to move by a lot, let's say you want to move by 10 pixels, hit shift and then use the arrows to move around. So this is going to take me up by 10 pixels at a time. And this can help you speed up the workflow. Tip number five, how to add a gradient background. So in order to add a gradient background, go to elements and search for gradients. Simply get the square one out here and then expand to meet your needs. Now to change the color of this gradient, simply click the colors available here. You can always choose your colors from here and then choose the second color. Oh, this is very similar color. So yeah, as you can see, small gradient maybe. Yeah, now you can see a gradient. So this is how you create gradient effect with the Canva. And you can also flip the gradient like the way you want. You can flip it horizontally and you can also flip, flip it vertically. So that's how you create cool looking gradient effect for your Instagram stories, presentations and things like that. Tip number six is fastest and easiest way to add text. So basically how you would add text is you would go to text in the menu here and then you would drag and drop whatever you like. So without doing that, the simplest way is to hit T on your keyboard and you get a text box right here. Simply start typing and then format as per your needs. So that's how you add text very quickly. So the next tip on my list is how to add your favorite colors into the palettes. So in order to add your favorite colors here, However, this is a pro feature, so once you have purchased or you have a free trail available, you can always test this out. So this is a paid feature, so that's why I don't have it at the moment. I'm using the free version right now. In order to do that, you can simply click here, add another palette and choose the colors and give the whole color palettes a name. So you can have multiple colors under the name listed. So that's how you can easily pick the colors from your own personal palette or your own brand color. The next tip is how to add images faster. So the conventional way of adding images into Canva is you, you go to the uploads and then you upload your images right here. You don't have to do that all the time. You can always open or bring up the window you would like to and then simply drag and drop the images you would want to add right into the image. So that's how you would easily save a heap of time and get things really done quickly. So the next tip on my list is how to duplicate an element or photo in Canva. So in order to do that, simply click option alt in windows and then drag and drop the item you would like to so this is how you duplicate the next tip on my list is how to zoom in and out very fast we tend to work with the limited space so we might need to get into a little bit detail some places so in order to do that simply press the control key and then use the scroll button so in the Mac I'm just gonna use my two fingers and swipe up or swipe up or swipe down so this way it's gonna zoom in and zoom out so that's how you zoom in really quickly so let's move on to the next one, how to crop image in Canva. So in order to crop an image in Canva, simply click on the image you would like to crop and go to the crop option right here and then adjust the crop accordingly. So once you're done, hit the done and it should be all right. So the next tip is how to lock text in place. So let's say I'm just working on something else. I don't want the other things to be affected. So I'm gonna select the things I don't want to be affected. I'm gonna hit shift and select the things I don't want to be affected. And then I hit this lock button right here. So this is gonna lock things in place and I won't be able to move the things around. It's gonna be stay stagnant there. So this text right here is locked. You can see the locked sign over here. Moving to the next one is adding hyperlinks. So basically, if you want to create a prospect for your client or maybe you want to create a PDF and you want your viewers to visit a certain website, how to link a website to your text. I'm just completely destroying this beautiful PowerPoint template. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say the trees. When it comes to the first word trees, I want to link it to some certain website and I can paste the link right here. I'm gonna so now you can see an underline beneath the trees now. That represents that this is a hyperlink and it's gonna take you to the website. The last tip on my list is creating your own personal templates. So this is a paid option. If you're using a Canva Pro, you can always create templates and you can keep it saved. Let's say you have a uh, social media account. That's where you post quotes. So you can always have a certain background or backdrop and then you can always change the text going forward. So this is gonna save you a lot of time. So that's the end of this video. Comment down your favorite tips and tricks if I have missed it. If you can support me by subscribing, that'd be fabulous. Don't forget to hit the bell, like, share. I will see you in the next one. Until Till then stay to the channel and bye bye.